everybody, it's Hannah here with another video, and I've done, um, let's just go straight to it, but, um, I've done, like, recently, within the last whatever day is, a day or two, when I'm making this video, it might be, like, a few weeks from now until I post this, who knows, but I've done a little survey on one of my Instagram, on my, um, photography Instagram account, and my real one. Um, on a survey related to like photography prices and what's in my bag and so forth and that's what I'm going to do is the price kind of video because that's the majority of the people who wanted to see that I've done a survey on and here I am and like with um of being a photographer and how to charge and what to charge and when to charge and relate to prices and how much and so on and Honestly, whoa, lighting. Um, honestly, it really depends on how long you've been a photographer, a little bit, just a smidge, and what your work looks like. If it looks professional looking, if you're just starting out, or what. And, and it depends on what you're shooting, a little bit, well, a lot. If um, you're doing senior pictures, weddings, family, um, um, newborn, pregnancy, um, the one that starts with the B, which is like uh, sexy pictures with your bra and your underwear, start, starts with the B, um, what else? Engagement or couples, whatever it could be, it really depends on the session or what kind of pictures you're taking, a little bit, and a smidge, depending on how long you've been a photographer, like I said, if you're just starting out to charge, um, I when I start to pr um, start to do that, when I'm at that stage, I'm ready to set my prices on whatever se um, session it is or whatever pictures. I always, from the beginning, the first six months to a year that I started charging with sessions, I always say, do whatever you can afford. It's a donation. Pay what you can. They pay you what's in their budget and what they can for a good six months to a year. That's what I did at first. And during that six months to a year that I've been doing that, i done a lot of my research. Like how many, what's the price range to senior pictures? What's the price range for weddings? What's the price range of couples, pregnancy, newborns, etc.? I always do that. So then I'm aware what's the price ranges and do what I feel the most comfortable with how long I've been a photographer and how well I like how what I feel comfortable charging and with what I charge with my um my business and what I do for long the amount that I have been doing for my photography with certain kind of things are probably going to be different with other photographers because others are more probably more experienced and, and different deals and all that should be all and with like weddings what I've looked up it could could be anywhere between two thousand five hundred all the way up to ten thousand dollars just for weddings and depending on the photographer and I charge cheaper than that I charge one thousand dollars which is lower than the lowest amount on average and with um senior pictures um i um with the wedding it kind of depends on how the wedding is for the most part i'm there for the good chunk of time sometimes i leave a little bit early like the last 30 minutes to an hour ask if they're you know touch base with the wed you know um people and if they need extra pictures or what, this is the amount I have, you know, and blah, 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 you can do that. Um, if you're just starting out with weddings, I would say be the professional um, photographer, a sense, a sense a backup in a way, and just take cut pics. You can also take pictures. You can be like um, a photographer's helper, be a, their little helper to take extra pictures that they wouldn't in a way. 
and that would charge like they will pay you the extra the other photographer um will pay you maybe anywhere between 50 through 100 bucks depending on who they are a little bit so but with um senior pictures i charge 150 dollars for at least an hour with unlimited changes and more likely there's a higher chance it's going to go above an hour with me if some photographers go like more than an hour like with went back when my sister did her senior pictures like five years ago i'm guessing roughly like 2013 14 somewhere around there one of those two summers i can't remember on top of my head but that's besides the point well like she graduated in 2014 so that summer or that previously summer or whatever if the summer of 2015 wait 14 she graduated in 2000, oh, four, 2014 so it was before that but anyways when she got her senior pictures it was supposed to be an hour but end up being like three three and a half hours so that might be you know like more likely i would um do like, I'll, I just normally do a guesstimate time for pe things, but more likely I'll do, like, an extra 30 minutes plus time over what I say. Because I want to get really good, as much pictures as I can. The more, the better. And, yeah, like, that's how much I do. And, um, I recently done it, um, recently, within the last month or two, I recently done a friend's pictures, and I, uh, we've done it for, like, four or five hours or something but like we had a like, good chunk of breaks in between though during, during that chunk and I had like oh, almost 200 pictures so and we might do like s another half or whatever but who knows but with like um what's it called like family pictures it can be like roughly the same amount I do about an hour practically the same price I believe as the senior pictures, but I do keep it like an hour, an hour and a half of family. I don't go over that a whole lot, but um, with couples, you could, for me, what I charge with couples slash engagements, I put it into the same category, and I charge $75 for 30 minutes. More likely, I will go closer to an hour. It just depends on what you feel the most comfortable with, how long you've been doing and just do as much research as you can. That's what I did. And do what you feel most comfortable of the amounts, like the lowest amount and the highest amount. And maybe like average it out in, right in the snake in the middle or more on the cheaper side. And if you're just starting to charge out, starting to charge out my recommendation would be like start out cheap and do cheaper the better and i'm not saying oh do for free keep going because you want to have a job kind of situation with something that you enjoy and i would recommend um do it on the cheaper start cheaper side what you feel most comfortable with and what you feel comfortable with like i said two like a million times especially two times in a row but anyways do what's what you feel most comfortable with your experiment experiences in you and that's all that matters you can I would if I was you if you're unsure keep it on the cheap side and you can eat you can always bump up your prices and times and all that in if in you know later down in a road if you feel whatever you feel the most comfortable with because it is your photography it's your business if you end up wanting to be a business so that's what my thoughts are in, in a way of what you guys could do hopefully this helps if it does i'm glad if it doesn't you can ask questions in the comments below if you have any other questions that you're or concerns or whatever Feel free to comment below. I would make a second one for you guys. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this video. And I am I will do like a second one related. Like a second photography video for you guys. Soon. It will be the.
big, like what's in my camera bag. So look for it in that video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, please like, subscribe, and share with your other friends. Thanks. Bye.